image and that style, which was done comparatively recently, in fact, was Let's Be Democratic, we're all junkies now, which was done as a commission from for by the Ministry of Sound, and it was to accompany an article written by a f friend of mine, a journalist who I've worked with quite a lot on and off like, on different things in the last 10 years, called Steve Kingston, who wrote a piece for the Ministry of Sound about the fact that drugs in all sorts of shapes and forms have just become the sort of mainstay of sort of many things to do with sort of Western culture and society and um, they're, they're, they're prevalent and they're everywhere. So I came up with this image of let's be democratic, we're all junkies now and everybody's doing it, using sort of various sort of icon images of various people. And um, needless to say, typical of what you'd expect from the Ministry of the Sound, they sort of shat themselves and wouldn't use the image. They said it wasn't appropriate and came up with something sort of safe. So, I mean, that sort of story goes on, actually. I mean, you do stuff and people sort of still sort of lose their bottle and won't, won't, won't print or produce it. Marion Morrison, the actual original painting which I sort of collaged over and wrote over came from Disney World and the whole idea of Peace is Tough, it was a direct response to the Gulf War. You know, it's, it's one of those images which I've done consistently since the Suburban Press Pistols days right the way through, which although it's got a sort of punk political agitprop edge, and that's part of a continuing story. So that image was done in direct response to the Gulf War, but it's consequently become an image that's been used in different situations. Like it, it got used by um, a gay club in Nottingham, I think, called Dazzle was one of their main images. It got used for the front cover of a book, which was like a sort of history of punk and various sort of things to do with punk and situationism written by an American writer called Gleal Marcus. 
who wrote a book called In the Fascist Bathroom. So I actually took the image of Peter's Tuff and put it in my own bathroom and took a photograph of it and used that for In the Fascist Bathroom.